What is up YouTube, Luca here with a new PvP build for the Waking Flame DLC. I've tested a couple of things with the new sets and one of them called Dark Convergence is completely broken. They will probably nerf it and I will show you why it is broken. I've tested a couple of things and I did a range bomb build. Look at my skill bars. I know it's completely ridiculous, but you will see why they are like that. Let me show you this unique build first. Afterwards, I will try to explain the range bomb combination with this new juicy set, Dark Convergence. Let's go. Here we go with the build, the Balog S monster set, Dark Convergence on the back bar with a restoration stuff. An Inferno stuff would be better for the Death Ultimate, but I only got a restoration stuff so far. I don't want to spend 4 to 5 million gold for an Inferno lightning stuff at the moment. It also works, as you could see, so it <laughs> doesn't matter to be honest. On the front bar, Vicious Death, an Inferno stuff, Necklace, Ring, and what else? A Sash and Legs just to get also the faucet piece bonus on the back bar but it doesn't matter to be honest just put it on the front bar and you're good to go then with mala cut why it's simple mala cut increase your damage done by 16 percent so vicious death we get buffed and dark convergence traits full divines would be perfect then full infused with spell damage on the jewelry front bar a sharpened inferno stuff with a shock damage uh, enchantment for minor vulnerability and on the back bar just the restoration stuff like i said before inferno or lightning stuff would be better now let's take a good look on the skills front bar camouflage hunter mainly for minor berserk but also for the new fighter skill passive uh, Slayer, it gives now weapon and spell damage for each warrior skill slotted. Pretty strong in total, as you can see, 9% because I have 3 fighter skills on the front bar. Then Inner Light for extra max magicka. Then Firing, our spammable. Why I choose Firing? It's simple. It applies the burning, any, uh, burning effect and the burning effect procs this juicy blue CP, it procs a cold overload which deals 4k oblivion damage if an enemy dies with a 4 meter radius, pretty nice. Then siphoning attacks, also as a passive skilled, where is it, and siphoning I guess, yep, for the 8% max magicka slotted, barb trap like I said before, only for the fighter skill passive. Also Dawnbreaker. Back bar, Scaling Rune, which we need to proc Dark Convergence. Rapid Regeneration, just in here. Channel Acceleration for the Major Expedition. Concede Weapon for the extra movement speed while we sneak. Then Shadow Disguise to Cloak away, of course. And the Lights Champion Restoration Ultimate, just for Barlock. With an Inferno or Lightning Staff the Destro Ultimate would be even better. Race, I'm Khajiit, not the best one. High Elf, Dunmo should be better, but I was already here Khajiit, just because it's my PvE char and my bomb blade. Mundus, the Lama, for extra spell and physical penetration. Then the Ghastly Eyeball, as Buffoot, Vamp Stage 2. For the passive, for the vamp passive, where is it? Uh, did it, did it? Strike from the shadows for another 300 extra spell damage. Potions, the normal spell power potions with major sorcery, prophecy, and magicka. Blue CPs and the red CPs, blue ones, brothel strikes. We don't need backstabber and fighting finesse since uh, proxets can't quit so we don't need both uh, blue cps here that's why i use both strikes for extra spell damage or cool overload like i said before 
Biting Aura and Mastered Arms, also to buff both proc sets. Red CP Celerity, a new one which increases our movement speed by 10%, pretty strong. Fortified for extra armor, Bastion for 15% more damage done against shielded enemies and Rejuvenation just for sustain. First of all, make sure to stay in height with Shadow Disguise and Shannon Acceleration for extra movement speed. Then choose an effective bomb position like here in this gap. Use the Resto Ultimate before to buff yourself with Balrog. Use Scalding Rune in the middle of the enemy stack. With Scalding Rune you will proc Dark Convergence. This purple glowing ball in the middle which pulls and snares the enemies into it. After they get pulled, swap to your front bar and spam Fire Ring until an enemy dies to proc Vicious Death and Occult Overload. Simple, effective, and really funny. If you have questions about it, type it in the comment section below, I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Now enjoy some gameplay footage. Last I got that sinking, sinking in my stomach from that love. Of course it's got me thinking. That's the end of this range bomb build. If you like my content and if you like this video, subscribe my channel, leave a like. I would truly really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next one.